Um, I just want to show you a quick fix that I did with my 12 volt cigarette lighter. Um, it does work, uh, but when you plug in your sat nav or your phone charger, it tends to wobble about a bit and it goes on and off, on and off. If it, any sort of vibration, it just comes straight off, which is really annoying when you're trying to charge your phone or you're trying to use the cigarette lighter. It's a pain. And it also works on the cigarette lighter. This fix also works on that cigarette lighter. If when you push it in and you have to hold it with your finger, Whereas normally you just push it and it clicks and it should pop when it's done. If yours doesn't pop and it, you have to hold your finger, this will help you too. Okay, so this is in my C-Max. This is where my 12 volt source is hiding. Right, just pull it out. Now the problem I had, I've already fixed this guys, as well. I just want to share it with you what I did. I used to have to push it in and hold that button, which was a pain in the ass. Um, so what I tend to do, I mean, when you plug, when I plug my sat nav in, any sort of movement of the car, any sort of vibration, it would just suddenly stop charging, which was annoying because my sat nav battery was pretty much dead. So if I ask, if I get you guys to look in there, if you look carefully, there's two upstanding prongs, one at three o'clock and one at uh, nine o'clock. Can you see that? Now what happens is over time they um, they go further to the edges, which means if you can try and understand what I'm saying. Them two prongs, there's one there and there's one here. And what they need to do, as they get used, they come away. Which means when you plug this in, there's nothing to hold it in. Can you see that? Because them clips would hold on to like that bit. They'd hold on to the adapter when you plug it in. Whereas all I did was I used a pen lid. Because don't go shoving anything metal in there, guys, unless you take the fuse out. If you're going to shove anything metal in there, take the fuse out. Because if they touch, little spark and pop a fuse. Okay, and then what I did was, once I opened them out, I used a pen lid, just like put it in there and pulled it away. And then when I could, I just used uh, precision uh, pliers, really, and just used the handle end, not the metal end, and just pulled it in a bit more. After that, I put it in and... See? Let's click straight in. Should pop. Wait for it. We're waiting. Hmm. There you go. Pull it out. Look at that. Okay, now all I did was I just really pulled in the one at three o'clock. Okay, you can try and even them up, it doesn't really matter. I was just happy it worked. So just push it in again. Clicked in again. But yeah, I hope this helps you guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.